Washington, D.C. man has launched a Kickstarter campaign. I hate that phrase, launching a Kickstarter campaign, to have Kenny Loggins play in his living room. Eric Sanchez, if that's his real name, says for 30 grand, Loggins and a few friends will fly to his home and play a 70-minute acoustic and very desperate set for up to 50 bored guests. And as AVClub.com points out, the terms have already been negotiated. Look at that beard. Loggins, of course, is famous for his work on the soundtracks to hit 80s flicks like Caddyshack, Footloose, Top Gun, and Sophie's Choice. But for our younger audience, let's take a look at some recent Kenny Loggins concert footage. Oh, no. You know, I think he's actually improved since the 80s. All right. Um, Sherrod, this yes. is why you should be scared. What's okay. to stop one of your weird Twitter followers from starting a campaign to have you do stand-up in their living room? I would do it. Right? Oh, you definitely are for the fans. I'll just, I'll just stand up at my grandmother's funeral. You're paying, right? <laughs> Anywho, she requested it. Yes. <laughs> and uh, she's still alive. Kenny Largan, uh, like, can you get somebody better? I would like Nicki Minaj to come to my living room, but I don't need a song sung. <laughs> yeah, I, I would imagine. But that. you want to need 80 grand just to get Kenny Loggins out your house? <laughs> That's true. Right, He's Kenny. actually, yeah, you'd have to pay him to leave. It's like Kenny, you've been here three weeks, man. <laughs> you ate all my pop tarts. <laughs> you gotta go, Kenny. <laughs> Kenny, you gotta go. Yes. Yeah. By the way. Uh, uh, isn't the real loser in this day again, uh, Messina? We keep hearing about Loggins. We never hear about Messina. What happened to Messina? The house at Pooh Corner. What's and that? Danny's song. Some of their greatest hits. I don't Loggins even know that Messina. one. House at Pooh Corner, eh? House at Pooh Corner. Mm, well, that's what they used to call up I'm, my I wonder if he plays oh, those God. songs anyway. <laughs> that he created, Kenny Loggins was the soundtrack of my youth. Yeah. I love him, and I always love his hair. It looked like he had a wind machine on him all the time. He did, he There's did. There's just something magic about him. He was that. a rugged man, a rugged looking man. Yeah, but you know, again, you didn't <laughs> And he's playing at City Winery on Monday night here in New York City, in Is fact. Yep. He's playing slash bartending, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll be busing later. Uh, all right, Messina will actually, by the way, he will play your living room for thirty dollars and a course light. <laughs> no course light, Mr. Andy. This is this must be hard for you because you don't have a living room. Uh, you live in a bed sit above a liquor store with a cat sure. and a uh, pan that you urinate in. Yes. Didn't know where I was going. Me either. <laughs> yes. Anyway, and why would you urinate in a pan? It would be more why like a two liter bottle. Be in <laughs> yes, that's true. All right, let's get off this whole discussion. It's, it's easier than you just put it right on the stove. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's disgusting. Don't en don't encourage this. It's not disgusting. You boil urine and then you can drink it. <laughs> you can uh, that's right. You know that nothing true. about survival tactics. That is true. That is true. Uh, you are one of those people. <laughs> Andy, okay. Kickstarter st started off as some kind of great thing to yeah. get stuff off the ground. Now it's becoming yeah. an ironic joke. Like, oh, I want a Kickstarter so I can buy a tuna fish sandwich. They raised 40 grand. Right. Isn't it becoming too ironic to be actually taken seriously? I, th I think it's sort of half and half. I mean, I still think there's good stuff on Kickstarter, and then there's weirdo stuff like this. But if that's how you're going to, if that's what you want to do, go ahead and do it. My only problem with it, first of all, I, I didn't realize at first that clearly he's worked out a deal with Loggins people. Right, right. I thought this was one of those, like, ask a celebrity to a prom, to the prom, prom thing, thing yeah. where it then makes them look bad if they don't accept. Yes. Uh, but it's not. The only thing I don't like about it is on the Kickstarter page, it says, if, if you donate $300, it says, quote, this will guarantee you a seat at the private jam sesh uh, with Kenny. Jam means no rehearsing. But also, don't jam sesh. <laughs> no, but the, the uh, point is, don't that, that takes sesh. them out of having to be good. Oh, it's a jam session. So yeah. they just got to stand, they go like this, and everybody talks about how great it what is. What if it it's was not. just them playing in your living room but like with blocks yes yeah like uh -huh. i'm playing with like, like yeah. a siberian tiger yeah that would be fun yeah. and he gets attacked yeah. joanne uh uh jo he's looking for 30 grand with what would you take to perform i don't know act in somebody's living room oh no 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 <laughs> no we, we, no, we no, need no. to know if someone asks on me to work. act in their living room we all know what that means yes i fell for it once I'll never fall for it again. and by the way Dobbs still feels bad about it <laughs> i know we've made up though yeah, okay yeah. i have it's free, in his book. free meisner classes in my bedroom <laughs> next, next wednesday through friday then I, you know who meisner is that's I great say, i say i say a diet dr pepper and um a cab ride home yeah probably, probably. Here's the important point that I was trying to make. Uh, this is why Kickstarter is just an engine for novelties. Uh, the best example is Spike Lee. Spike Lee could get, make, get any film made. He's a, a very powerful filmmaker. 
Inside Man was a big budget film. He hears about Kickstarter. He does a Kickstarter campaign for his movie, getting fans to pay for the film, which actually would have been nice for a poor filmmaker, a filmmaker who doesn't have a $12 million house or a filmmaker who could actually benefit from this. He doesn't need it. But maybe it's it. been a long time since Spike Lee had a new movie out. Maybe he, maybe the studios ain't giving him the money like he used to get. But he could fund his own he movie. He should just give all his paychecks to lots of people who don't have money. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Finally, you, you know? say something. You say something that matches that expression. Yep. Wait, <laughs> all right. expression? Kickstarter does sound like, you know, a nerd's way to have some type of rent party for nerd stuff. <laughs> okay. But I'm for it. I mean, if people want to pay for it. <laughs> The public's paying for it. Apparently, we got more money than people who talk about. I just yeah. don't know why you'd want it in your living room because yeah. I would be so worried about what am I going to serve. Yeah, it's like, true. Like, what sustenance does he want? I have to clean, but like, how clean? I don't want to look like I'm trying too hard. Maybe this, you know? maybe this dude's a genius. Maybe while Kenny Loggins at his house, his boys at Kenny <laughs> Loggins' house are robbing yeah. <laughs> So you good? Thanks, Kenny Loggins. Thirty grand. This is thirty grand. I just took one hundred eighty grand out of your house. Dude. But but Kenny Loggins probably has somebody at home with a gun. Yeah, well, guns, yeah. Gun, I, well, they can take guns, too. You can, <laughs> <laughs> guns battle guns all the time. There you go. Well, See, I'm, glad you, I'm glad you came around to my point of view. Yeah, always, Greg. <laughs> yeah. Family around here. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right. Wow, that segment petered out. <laughs> Coming up, what's the best place for an affair? I said the mattress store, but the sales clerk strongly disagreed, so we broke up. But first, a word from our sponsor.